Hi, I'm Melissa Walker and I'm reading at Books of Wonder tonight and I'm nervous so I'm going to practice for the camera um, and maybe for a blog. Uh, so I'm reading from Violet in Private which is my new release which came out yesterday and um, I'm reading from a part where Violet is back doing Fashion Week kind of against her wishes, more her agent's wishes and um, she's been interning at a teen magazine called Teen Fashionista in New York. So this is her getting ready for her um, one runway show that she's agreed to walk for Fashion Week. I have to get fitted for the gown at Tracetown on Wednesday, and I'm set to walk their runway at 1 p.m. on Friday, which means I'll miss a half day at Teen Fashionista. Luckily, most of the editors will be at the shows anyway, so the office will be dead, or so Chloe tells me when I re request the afternoon off. It's been several months since I walked a runway. The last one was for Mirabelle Prince in Paris when I freaking fainted in front of a huge crowd of fashion's double A-list. Yikes. But with Mickey and Matt from Tracetown, I feel at ease. They've made the gown fit perfectly around me, and even though I'm not a beanpole right now, I almost want to start singing that Natalie Wood song from West Side Story because, well, I feel pretty. Violet, I'm impressed that you had us go green for the show, says Henry, my favorite makeup artist who always works with Trace Town. I don't usually like to switch my makeup bag, but I'm into it. I look around and realize that, true to his word, Mickey has gotten donations from some of the most environmentally friendly companies out there. I smile. And don't worry about those nasty girls, Henry continues. You just do your thing. What girls, I ask. I look around and see stony model faces staring at me. One uber blonde girl has her lip curled as she looks me up and down. A tire clone in the corner is staring at me with narrowed eyes. And the girl who just left the makeup chair turns to look over her shoulder at me and mouth, whatever. I suddenly feel incredibly insecure. What's the deal, I whisper to Henry through clenched teeth. Oh, they're just mad that you're closing the show, mad that your gown was altered to be bigger, mad that they're just not naturally flawless like Miss Violet. You name it. Really? I ask, shocked that A, anyone cares about me anymore, it's not like I'm particularly competitive this fashion week, and B, I didn't notice their cold shoulder treatment earlier. Now that Henry's pointed it out to me, I'm feeling less pretty by the second. By the time the show starts, I'm having to consciously will my shoulders not to bunch up in the classic defensive posture I wore all through high school when I felt too tall, geeky, and generally fug. What's the matter, Violet? whispers Mickey when he takes my arm to walk out and close the show. Nothing, I lie, forcing the huge smile that I know he wants the cameras on the runway to see. We walk out into a sea of flashbulbs, and I give them what they want. The smile that made me famous last year at my first show for Tracetown. The one that got Fashionista.com buzzing about the fresh-faced girl from North Carolina and traveled through the grapevine to Women's Wear Daily and magazines that later wanted to book me for shoots. It's the same smile that launched my career. But this time, it's fake. So, thanks for listening. Um, Violet's obviously having issues with the modeling world in this book, and um, she's also going to Vassar College. Uh, so, check it out if you have a chance, and I hope that reading wasn't too long or boring. Okay.